If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. Uh, is this on? Uh, what are y'all doing? I sent you an email last night and I invited you to my society. <laughs> With Crown Creators Academy, we created a society for you all to be able to come. We can talk. I'm going to be doing live streams every single week to show y'all how to do YouTube. Honestly, to show y'all how to do anything with social media. What you got to understand is when you join the society, baby, you with me. <laughs> Death row. You get what I'm saying? So I need y'all to go ahead and tap in. I don't understand what we're waiting on. But I'm going to give y'all to the end of the day, to the ones who subscribed to the um, email, which you can still subscribe to the email. It's about 200 of y'all. Go and check your email, friend. Now, <laughs> thank you so much. I love y'all. Enjoy the video. Oh, and comment and like it. Bye. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying with the goddamn hair your league. So I just want to go ahead and put out there, a lot of y'all are mad at me. But before we get into that, I want y'all to know that I am dropping my website tomorrow, tomorrow, okay? CrownCreatorsAcademy.com, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. We have three tiers that you will be able to select from. I will be going live at least three times a week to teach y'all how to do YouTube. Also, how to do template placement. And we will be selling templates as well. Website templates. Whatever template you can think of, we're going to be selling them. So, y'all make sure you tap in. All right? Also, make sure you tap in the Touch by Candy because baby going to be dropping that body butter and I'm selling all them body butters tomorrow. And I'm saying I because I need y'all buying every body butter that she got. All right. In the meantime, in between time, let's go ahead and address this elephant in the room. Now, yesterday we had a, a, a situation with Neek and King about uh, King exposing the text messages with um, her and King about picking Kaza up while basically he had, they had to pick Kaza up from school early because um, it was bad weather or something. So she asked King if he could do it. And King said, no, I want y'all to understand something. The reason why Neek asked King to pick Kaiser up is because unfortunately it was her time to pick Kaiser up. Now, here's what y'all not understanding. And I know as mothers, y'all are going to go pick your child up. You're coming from a mother's point of view. I completely get it. But don't try and come in these comments and tell me that your baby daddy going to stop everything he doing because you asked him to and go pick up that child. Now, if it were me, I would go pick up my child too. Duh. What I'm telling y'all is he didn't because he felt as though he was doing her a favor. Why don't y'all understand that? They not in the favoring position. They don't really like each other like that. So he don't feel as though he need to do her a favor. Ultimately, if she got to ask him to pick up that child, it is a favor. Why would she have to ask if it was his time to pick him up? It wasn't his time. It was her time. So with that being said, I completely understand where y'all coming from as a mother. You going to go pick up your child. You don't give a damn what? What's going on? I'm telling y'all as a baby father, he didn't feel the need to do that. Now here, yes, it is his child. He should have. I agree. He should have. However, what I'm telling you is he didn't feel the need to do that favor for her. Y'all, that is their situation, not mine. Because if TT tell me to go pick up the kids right now, I'm going. <laughs> if my baby daddy asked me to pick the kids up right now, I'm going. You want to know why? That's the relationship that we have right now. We good. But it was at a point in time where you couldn't ask me no favor. You couldn't ask her no favor. And we damn sure couldn't even have a conversation. Like you really got to be in this shit to know. And it is an upside to it. And it is a downside to it. I'm letting y'all know what she asked of him was a favor. Am I lying? Am I lying? No, I'm not. <laughs> so with that being said, I never said I agreed with him. 
but he did have the right to say no. And you can't tell me he don't have the right to say no. Is it right? No. But was it that, was that his decision? Yes. That's what he decided to do. Now I'm going to let y'all think about this. She called him last minute to ask him to pick up Kaza from the airport, which was an hour uh, before it was time for him to land. So it's no telling what he was doing. So with that being said, I feel as though he was being petty and did not want to return any favors to her because she's been inconveniencing his time. Sorry. Is he right? No, 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 he's not right. <laughs> But is that what he decided to do? Yes. Can he say no? Yes. Did he say no? Yes. What I'm telling y'all is both of them being petty. Everybody want to point the king is just wrong. No, 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 no. They're both. Both of them are being petty. So listen. I get it. Y'all upset? All that. Because what y'all are doing is coming from a woman's place. I get that. I get it. I would have picked my child up too. If King was right, he would have been like, nigga, why you ain't going to pick up your child? I guarantee you he would have said, bro, I'm telling you, she been inconveniencing my time all the time. I did. Well, I got to stop everything I'm doing to go pick. Do you get what I'm saying? Y'all trying to make it seem like I'm a little slow over here and don't understand that, oh, it's bad weather. Um, You're closer. Um, If I can't do it, she said, if I can't do it. So I want to know why y'all didn't say, well, why couldn't she do it? Why did we instantly say King is the problem? Because he said no. Well, let me play devil's advocate with y'all. Why is it that she couldn't do it? I'll wait. what the fuck I thought <laughs> what you mean you can't do it okay she couldn't do it he had the right to say no guess what somebody had to get it done hello he wasn't trying to give her no favors that's on him they being petty with each other and both of them wrong and I'm not about to be on the side of king is just the only one wrong I'm not y'all better give that girl some accountability too she wrong just as wrong as he is. Now, we can get to the video because y'all tried it. I mean, y'all really tried it. Okay. Made a video telling their side to the story, but before King dropped his video last night, he posted this to his IG, responded to... That's how you be unbiased in a situation. Telling both parties they wrong. See, I know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? Video titled, Responding to My Baby Mama. Hey, slime, hey, hey, say, when you got cut like that, when you start talking like that, yeah, like when, when when you just got so real, bitch, huh? Um, come on, man, you know it's on me, but don't play with me, but it's say three. To school. I'm like, okay, so why why can't you take him to school? Why what is the big problem with him taking him to school? And he had every excuse in the book why he could not take Kaza to school. Y'all, when Kaza was in, he lives in Katy. When Kaza was in school in Katy, I was living in Houston. I had to drive. It wasn't an hour. We already seen hour. this. I had to drive 30 minutes every day to take her. Also, to I did say, why the hell King didn't bring up them 28 minutes? <laughs> King, what happened to them 28 minutes? This is what I want to see the text Hello, message part. I just told you two weeks ago about Kaiser school prices. I'm not the reason people bash you or your girl. You are. Stop it. Hold on. Did y'all zoom in? I see why she deleted this because she posted and deleted this mad fast. Okay, bet. Kaiser I want to say in Neek's defense, Apple will do that shit. Apple will keep a picture from y'all 20 years ago. If you got the same iCloud, I'm sorry. I don't blame her for deleting it either. She probably didn't even know that shit was there, y'all, to be honest with you, but okay. School closed early today because of the weather. Well, nah, never mind. She know if she text him, she see that picture. <laughs> well, maybe she ain't know how to change it. Uh, look, look at me. Still trying to take up for Nick, and y'all still going to be mad at me. All right, I'm over If it. I don't make it, can you get him and I'll come get him? I won't be able today. Why not? You can't pick up your son and you live five minutes away. I had plans already today. I'm busy just as well as you. LOL. Okay. I'm changing. Kai he wasn't wrong for saying that. Sorry. He wasn't. If I don't make it, can you get him and I come get him? No, I got something to do too. He not wrong. Sorry. She has something to do too. That's why you have a village, King. 
That's why grandma, hello. See, here we go. I'm on Neek's side again. That's why grandma is there. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't go get them right now. You can't go get it right now. Grandma, grandma, can you please go get Kaza? Please. You know what I'm saying? Neek busy. I'm busy. I, I'm trying to goddamn do da da da. She doing da da da. They, he done got released out of school today. Huge inconvenience for both of us. Grandma, please. Or mama, please. Can you go get him? All right. What y'all going to tell me? Uh, his, I, I see that Neek's mama live in uh, New Orleans. I, or he said back home. So back home, wherever the fuck back home is. I don't know where King's parents stay. But my point is, that's the whole point of a village regardless. Okay? Even if they got her brother. Her brother could have picked him up. But King want to be like, he, everybody picking him up and hey, you picking him up and everybody do. Y'all think I didn't do my research and all that? Girl, I don't have to research. They tell you everything. Her brother could have picked him up. But King bitching and complaining about the, the grandma and the brother. Guess what? Somebody had to go pick that baby up. <laughs> Period. But y'all think I'm just on King's eye. You just on King's eye. All right, come on. Y'all got to see everybody wrong in the situation. And Neek was wrong as well because why she couldn't go get him? Girl, because she had something to do. Well, he did too. How about that? The school to Houston. He'll start there soon. It's fourteen hundred a month, so I need seven hundred every month. I get why Nick put up the text message, but he wasn't wrong. It wasn't his week. He don't have to do a. Thank you. To, Thank you, you voice. That's why I keep pointing out the weeks. King said, "Girl, they over here arguing with me about this." <laughs> because during her week is not stable. She's doing this and this and this, but it's her week. You lost the privilege of dictating what happens in her household. When Thank you. you. Household. See, these are the things that you think about when things get tough in a relationship. Thank you. You have to deal with the consequences of your own actions when you walk out of a household. She can do whatever she want during her week. When you had your weeks, when we didn't know if you wanted to be with Neek, Lena, or Ashley, we went through those weeks with you. Nobody called you out on your weeks. Now Neek is trying to figure out what she doing. She going through her weeks. And we don't know what's going to happen five to ten years from now. We don't know if you going to be with Lena. You might have some weeks of your own where you got to figure things out. Then Thank you. Don't you have to go through your weeks. Thank you. We young. We still got some weeks ahead. Y'all leave Thank you. down below. Let me know what y'all when it comes to that. Now let's get it. Thank you, Leo. We coming from the same place. Y'all asking me about this situation. I really don't have much to say about this. story because it's a lot going on. So King said and Smooth Geo alleged. I like both their outfits. The <laughs> and Trendsetter, they both were at Smooth Geo's Airbnb party. And allegedly there was a girl that was drinking a lot to the point where she passed out on the couch. And Ladies, stop going to these parties, getting pissy drunk with all these horny ass little dudes thinking that somebody ain't going to touch your ass. What is wrong with y'all? And then you like, Neek, no, 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 no. You should consider where she's coming from. You should feel bad because she's a, a woman. Y'all, I quit the victim shit, bro. The victim shit is so old with women. Stop. Men play victim too. But in this situation, why do these ladies keep going to these little niggas parties, getting pissy drunk, thinking they ain't horny as hell in the cut, trying to touch something? Stop. <laughs> like, and AD walked over to her and asked her if she wanted to go in the room. And he kept telling her. Oh, I was young before. I was drunk before. Hello. I knew what my limit was. I had to make sure because ain't nobody about to do shit to me. Room. And the whole time Trendsetter was recording. Like how you had a whole party full of people. You think you about to lay down on the couch. Now, some parts of the video was not recorded. So we don't know how she got. And this it. lame ass nigga recording it. He just as bad. Like, are you serious? Like, I'm just going to record everything. Uh, for what? <laughs> Who was you helping in that situation? It wasn't him and it wasn't her. He should have told him as a man, stop touching on that girl, man. Child. the balcony with ad but then there's another video where it's ad and the girl on the balcony now on the balcony they're engaging in some intercourse and the girl said that she didn't consent to that she said that he was taking advantage of like look at you <laughs> look at look at that nigga. look at it. i would i would not get drunk for that reason you know ladies go into the house party and be like okay what First of all, go with your own bottle. I'm not drinking out of nobody's nothing. 
Okay? I'm bringing my own bottle, and you ain't drinking out of my bottle either. Why? I got me a little fifth in my purse, if that were me. Now, if it were actually me, a fifth was in my back pocket. Keep up. So, in my purse, in my back pocket, I got my own fifth. I'm pouring up my own shot. I'm drinking my own yak. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm looking around, surveying the area. Uh, Who is up in this motherfucker? Okay? Uh-uh. <laughs> Not, I don't want nobody up in here. Not a soul. So guess what? I'm going to drink, have me a little, uh, a little, t- and I'm up out this bitch. What you mean? Y'all, these poor little ladies. Of the fact that she was drunk. Now, allegedly, people are saying Spoogio was in the Airbnb when all of this was happening. Not that he had knowledge of the situation, but he was present in the Airbnb. Now, Spoogio and King Sid and stop going by yourself. Thank you, Floetic. That was Airbnb a valid and point. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a turner, but understand that it's people that come to your. I party love that, that outfit and that picture. To lose, and just because it's your party, uh, you're responsible Smooth for Gio what shit. happened. Y'all leave your comments down below when it comes to that. Now. Everyone I don't want to hear his side of the story. Everyone is, uh, the, the, you shouldn't have been recording that. that. He is the op. He's one of the biggest ops in the, uh, in their little community. I, I would, I would 86 him ASAP. Uh, but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Uh, once again, in a baby mama, baby daddy situation, it is very important, important that you are, um, appreciative of each other and what each other is doing for one another. And you definitely have to consider each other's time. Okay. It's also important to have a village because of time. If you can't do it, you can't do it. My brother can, my mama can, whoever can. Okay. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Good day and bye.